Good morning, welcome to Hampshire. Today, we're at the New Forest and we've got mist. Something strange has happened this morning. The weathermen, they got it right, and there's mist. Great to see you all again, guys. Just looking behind me, you can see that there's mist rolling in on the plains of the New Forest today. We've got ourselves on a nice high up location so we can see this mist all rolling over and revealing all the contours of the landscape. We're just waiting for the light to hit and hopefully we've got a couple of nice compositions. We're on a very long lens today. We're on 100 to 400, just so we can pick out and isolate details in that mist of hopefully a few trees popping through. Should be good. Using an ultra long lens is a really, really underrated tactic for when you're shooting in conditions like this with mist. It enables you to condense a scene, zoom into a specific subject, pick out somewhere, and you get a really, really good sense of heavy, heavy mist. Even if you were to get close to the subject, it might not really seem like there's that much mist there, but the long lens just gives it that impression because you're from that much further away. It really is an underrated tactic. I use it all the time and I absolutely love it. In fact, I probably use my 100-400 even more than I do my 15-35, especially on scenes like this. You just can't beat it. Looking for those individual little details that uh, just make the scene. Mist is just such a special thing for a landscape photographer. It's what we go for, it's this atmosphere. It just cannot be beaten. The New Forest, it's just a fantastic place to be in the morning. I had a 5 a.m. start today. I've got to go to work straight afterwards and do a full day's work. It's a really, really tough one, but it's worth it. When you get conditions like this, you just can't complain, it's fantastic. The mist is really starting to clear quite rapidly at the moment, so I'm really hoping that the sun's gonna come up just in time for us to get a little bit of light on our uh, foreground subject and uh, illuminate that, and it will just give it such a nice touch to the picture. I'll try and show you a before and after, so before the light hits and then when the light hits, and show you the difference that it makes on this particular subject and uh, how uh, vastly different the picture will look. But I'm hoping the mist will stick around at the moment. It does look like it's clearing very, very rapidly, so it's a bit touch and go whether we'll get it or not. We've got a fair bit of uh, cloud cover just where the sun's coming up at the moment. It's actually up, but we're just waiting for that cloud just to shift past and the sun just to clear it. And then hopefully we're gonna get some nice light on our composition. We're going for a single tree in a little dip with a nice rolling hill behind it. And then behind that, a whole load of mist. It should look really atmospheric. There's some beautiful sweeping paths on the New Forest as well, and we're using those as a good foreground lead, which draws your eye straight through to the mist and then some little lone trees dotted around in the background. It's just superb. It's a lovely composition, and I'm on a long lens trying to make sure I can get the best of that. Well, it's really starting to look not too bad this morning. The mist is still here. We've got a little bit of light just trying to creep through, but it's still behind quite a thick cloud at the moment. Uh, hopefully, maybe another 10 minutes and we're gonna get this light and it's gonna be right on our subject exactly where we need it. But uh, we will require a bit of luck this morning because that cloud's quite heavy and it's refusing to clear at the moment. We've got some beautiful layers in the New Forest. There's hills that just roll and the mist just brings out all the contours of them, makes them look absolutely superb. All we need now is just for one of the wild ponies to just wander past into shot and uh, wander through the path and it would look fantastic. But unfortunately, I can't see any of them about at the moment. Uh, I've got my dog here, but uh, I don't think he'll make quite the same subject. Unfortunately, the mist is clearing a lot quicker than I'd like it to, and I'm not entirely sure we're gonna get some light whilst the mist is still there. I think it's gonna be fairly patchy afterwards, 
but it's really been worth coming out. I've got some, hopefully, some nice images. Um, most of it has all come from the 100 to 400, just zooming in, picking out little bits of detail, small trees popping out through the mist, you know, little, uh, little clumps of trees in the mist. Um, it's pretty much what I've been shooting this morning. There was no real sunrise this morning, no colors. It was a pretty clear sky, but it's just clouded over a little bit now. Uh, but we did get the mist, and the mist is really what we're focusing on today. So it looks really, really good. Um, I'm hopeful that uh, you'll like the picture. I'll stick a picture up in a minute and you can let me know what you think. Sadly, the all-important element that we were really waiting for this morning, light, it just didn't come. There's a cloud system that's moved in right in front of the sun, and it's such a shame because the composition we had would have just been perfectly suited to it. If we'd have just had the trees in front light up and the mist in the background, it would have looked beautiful. Well, everything seems to have gone a bit overcast now as well, and the mist has got very, very murky. It's rolling in and it's getting to be more like fog. Um, if I didn't have to go straight into work, I'd probably have a, a quick try at the forest itself, and it'd be beautiful to have some fog rolling in through the trees. It would look absolutely fantastic. But uh, sadly, time is just against me today. Right, well, I'm back off to work. I've got a full day ahead. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear a comment from you, see what you thought of the video, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care.